Have you thought of that? In the name of the one who was sent as a mercy, you are merciless in your own home. And then you want to claim to be a follower of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa How can that be? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the true acknowledgement of the gift of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa to us. Follow his way. Aisha radiallahu anha says he was never abusive. Anas ibn Malik radiallahu anhu says not only to his wives, but never did he say it even to those who worked for him. He never ever said oof to anyone. Why did you do this? With us, we swear them. We shout at them. The food is burnt. Something happens. It's a test for us. We lose our cool. Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us forgiveness. And all this is done in the name of the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We claim to be his followers. Religious, five salah a day, sometimes six because you are up for tahajjud. But your mouth is foul with your own family members. And here comes the most blessed from amongst us, the most blessed. And he says, khayrukum, khayrukum li ahlihi. Do you want to know who's the best from you? The best to his wife. The, the best from amongst you are those who are best to their wives, their family members. Why? Charity begins at home. On the day of Qiyamah, yes, you will be judged by whom? By Allah. Regarding what? Yes, all your good deeds, your salah, your zakah, etc. One of the things he's going to judge you by is how you treated your family. How do I know that? Because for the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to tell you and I that the best from amongst you is the best to the wife or the best to the family, that automatically means on the day of judgment, it's one of the major points that I'm going to be judged by. So go out of your way to be the kindest and the best, even if your folks are not Muslim. Remember, you have a duty unto them. Allah chose your mother. Be kind to her. She may not want to see your face, but you continue to be kind. There is no excuse not to be kind. Don't raise your voice and swear them and yell at them, etc. Sometimes you can excuse yourself very politely, but don't be disrespectful. The same applies to your wife. Somebody's daughter, vulnerable. It's easy to scream and to yell at this woman, Allahu Akbar, when you understand that Allah has greater control over you than you have over your family members, you will calm down automatically. It's a sign of the closeness to Allah. It is an amana. Imagine you have a daughter. Excitedly, the wedding happens. Everything else happens. You get her married, mashallah. Suddenly, a year later, you hear that that son-in-law of yours is raising his hand on her. How would you feel? Subhanallah. Well, in Cape Town, you might go and raise a gun at him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not let that happen. I hope it's just a BB gun. In fact, that's on a lighter note. It shouldn't even happen. But my brothers and sisters, it's a reality. The minimum is you would be hurt. How dare you do this? I gave you my daughter. All I want from you is to respect her. That's it. You don't abuse your spouse. Not at all. The Prophet, peace be upon him, says it clearly. That the best from amongst you, those who are best to your family members, starting with your wife. Are you ready for that? You want to follow Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? You want to celebrate the Mawlid? Well, start off by being the best to your wife. Start off by being the best to whom? To your family members. You have celebrated the life of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He stood for that. He says, Khayrukum, khayarukum ahasinukum akhlaqan. The best from amongst you are those whose character is the best. You've developed it. I need to develop my character. The best from amongst you are those who are more beneficial to the rest of mankind. How do I benefit mankind? How do I benefit mankind? So the Prophet wasallam he treated his family with utmost respect, goodness, and kindness. Remember those words. The first words. He treated his family with utmost respect, goodness, and kindness. And then the Prophet wasallam when he had some important matters related to the house, and sometimes other matters, he would ask his family members for their opinions. 